Well, standing outside to stargaze isn't on the minds of many as Mother Nature brings the snow and cold. However, 2022 brings many intriguing astronomical events across West Michigan. Meteorologist Blake Hansen is here to explain and Blake, there is a lot to look forward to, right? There really is Meredith. Now every year brings intriguing events in the night sky, but 2022 is no different. And while the year is starting off and will continue to start off on the quiet side, Things will pick up as we head towards spring and throughout the rest of the year. Let's take a look at some of these top events of 2022. We have our typical meteor showers throughout the year. The first super moon arrives in the middle of June, but there are three events that really stand out over the course of this year. We have two planetary alignments and also a total lunar eclipse. Let's start with the planetary alignments. The first one arriving towards the end of March into early April. Mars, Saturn and Venus will all appear in the night sky very close together. In early April, Saturn and Mars will actually appear as close in the same field of view in some telescopes and binoculars. Now in this planetary trio, you want to look towards the east southeast part of the sky. The best viewing will be before sunrise, but that's not all. Another planetary alignment occurs in the middle to latter half of June, where you have several planets aligning up in the night sky, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and even Saturn. The crescent moon will also be aligned perfectly in the night sky. Now here's the thing. They're not lined up perfectly in the solar system. It's just the perspective from here on Earth. As like the last planetary alignment, this one as well would be towards the east south horizon. The best viewing in the morning twilight. But I think the most intriguing portion of 2022 for our stargazers will be the lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse as we head towards the middle of May. Remember a lunar eclipse is when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon and the Earth covers the moon with its shadow, giving the moon its reddish appearance. And this will be occurring in the middle of May, May 15th and the May 16th. So the nighttime hours into the early morning hours. And what makes this total lunar eclipse very interesting is that the moon will have a reddish tint here in West Michigan for nearly 90 minutes. This will be a very impressive total lunar eclipse. The last one was in January of 2019. We'll see how it goes. It all depends on how much cloud coverage we have here in West Michigan, but there are definitely a few events ongoing this year, Meredith, that are just astonishing, and I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, we do have so much to look forward to, Blake, and a total lunar mm -hmm. eclipse. So we're going to be praying now for clear skies on the 15th, 16th, because that does make a difference. It really does. Fingers are already crossed, and again, we have so many other events as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great year for those stargazers. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Blake, thank you so much. Yes.